okay now let's start running the process if you if you are in the main page you can just press the play button over here it will it will start from the start stage over here and if you are in any sub pages and if you want to run from this particular start stage you can what you can do is that you can right click over here set next stage so blue prism while pressing the go button the blue prism always run from this particular place so let me press the go button so three is always greater than two okay it has completed it completed the execution so that's how that's the simple simplest way of using a decision stage so let me remind you decision stage has two outbound links if the result of a decision is true it takes one direction if the result is false it takes the another so the decision is the simplest method to create multiple paths in a process so decision stage works by evaluating the result of an expression whether it's true or false so it will evaluate what whatever that's given inside this exp expression so it may goes to multi-line expression or a single line expressions expressions are or let me explain what expressions are expressions are formulas used to calculate a value of some kind and are used in many types of stages so it so these expressions are used in different stages as well so we'll we'll get to know that later in the later sessions so here we have given the most simplest uh, expression over here so we'll try to do an example with this decision stage so before going on to an example so I would like also like to give a description about the calculation stage as well so let me put the calculation stage we'll do all this inside the main page so that it will be very helpful so this is a calculation stage over here you can find it from the stage list so here you can find the calculation stage and a drag and drop I've drawn two links to it so so calculation stage uses an expression in its properties window but there is one key difference between a calculation stage and a decision stage so the key difference is that the calculation stage needs to retain a result from its expression so whatever expression we give over here it it needs a value out of it and for decision stage the value is either true or either false so in order to store this value we have to pro we have to provide a data item in the store result in text box so what calculation stage actually aims is to calculate a value and store it somewhere it will be in inside a data item of course and we will we will now move on to data items in order to use this calculation stage completely so first of all we will create a data item or a number data item in order to store the result 2 plus 3 so in order to create a number data item we just double click the data and we just give it a name result, and we select the value as number and that's it you can press ok and we just have to store the result in the data item in order to do that just drag and drop the result data item in the store result in and just give a name it, it, it's always a best practice to give a name to all the stages so you can give like add to numbers So I'm keeping all the examples as simple as possible. So in order to find it very easy for you. So now we have provided the expression as well as the result or as well as the 
data item where we have to store the results now we can run the process let's see what actually happens so just press the reset button at first so we have actually two errors 